Hi friends, welcome to Kalpana's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you a sweet uh, dish, and that is kurmurachi chikki. Now what is kurmura? Kurmura is uh, puffed rice. Puffed rice. I'll show you, I'll show you the ingredients. Now. The ingredients required for kurmurachi chikki just a few ingredients. This is jaggery. Now this jaggery is special about this is it's uh, chikki ka gul we say. Uh, it's a little sticky compared to the regular jaggery that you get. Okay, it's very sticky. Then this is the kurmura. I, I told you the puffed rice. Then this is uh, ghee. We require just one teaspoon. And uh, this is the uh, cardamom powder. I have prepared in kit. That's it. Okay. Then I'll be uh, rolling it on this to set. Huh? So let's get started. I'll be using one teaspoon sugar too, okay, to get the shine. Hmm? Now I will take one teaspoon. Uh, this is pure ghee, but you can use any other ghee also. Just a little, one teaspoon. Fine. Now we will add the jaggery. You can see how the jaggery is uh, melting slowly. I taken one teaspoon ghee and uh, yes, I am using a non-stick pan. It was very convenient but then it's up to you. I will let this jaggery melt completely. Now jaggery I have taken quarter kg that is 250 grams. Okay. I let the jaggery cook before I start adding the kurumura. I will now add one teaspoon of sugar. This for the shine. Then I will add cardamom powder. That's it. Okay, fine. Don't let the jaggery burn. I will start adding the kurmura as well. Yeah, kurmura. This is the second cup. This is the third cup. Half a cup, okay. Now it's fine. Do all this on slow flame so it doesn't burn. Uh, I've lined this mat with uh, a little ghee. I'll just pour it on that. I will now pour my kurmura chikki on this mat. and spread it apply some ghee on your rolling pin and roll the chicky it's hot so be careful
Okay, I had applied a little ghee on my knife also, so it didn't stick to the knife while cutting. And when the chickpea is uh, uh, still hot, you have to uh, draw these uh, cuts. I mean, you have to uh, cut the chickpea when it's uh, hot and soft. And as it gets cold, it gets uh, nice and crisp. Okay. Now, if you want to uh, try something new, you can just dip this chickpea in uh, chocolate. And uh, you'll get a nice uh, chocolate coated uh, kurmura chicky. And uh, you can uh, you can add peanuts and there's roasted peanuts, roasted chana dal. They're very nice and very tasty. Okay, let's do the plating now. You have seen the I'd already cut beforehand. So just take turn it like this here on the pieces and you get nice chicky pieces here. Yummy. Okay, you've seen how simple this Burugura Chiki is to prepare. Ingredients are just less and see, nice and crisp. Oh, and uh, when you prepare it, just keep it in an airtight container so they stay crisp. Fine. I'll show you how crisp this is. It's tempting. So, as I told you, you can add roasted peanuts, chana, chana dal, and a bit more yummy than yummier than what it is. This is plain kurmura chicken. The kids just love this. Okay. If you like this recipe, do try it at your place and um, press the button like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.